So we have called this press conference regarding informing the public that we have solved a very genius, very sensational murder case, which was absolutely blind in nature. Because initially we had no clue about uh, you know what would the suspects be, and uh, this also this case also goes to show uh, how, that how much war police is committed to ensuring safety and security in the city, how much it is committed to ensure that justice is done in each and every case. So I'll just give you the brief details of this case, as you might have also covered during that time. Uh, this incident occurred on 21st of April. That uh, uh, in the evening we received a phone call from. Uh, 108 ambulance staff that uh, there is a lady whose dead body has come to the hospital and accordingly uh, that the, the body was lying in the house house and accordingly PI Vasco and the team visited the, the location that is near Urvashi Hotel, Piksem Dongri, Kharewado, Vasco. So it, the, it, was not, it was noticed that the dead body is of uh, the lady that name of the lady was Gayatri, wife of late Ratnakar Marathe. She was aged 79 years. She used to live alone in that house uh, without anybody. And uh, she was an elderly lady and her uh, dead body was found. So initially, uh, you know, the scene of crime inspection, we found that there is a injury on her neck. And also there is probably, uh, you know, signs of blood clotting because of it looked like somebody has strangulated her. There was a piece of cloth that was covering her injury and also there was a small cutter found near the place of crime. There was little disturbance around the property of the house. Uh, so we initially thought that somebody might have uh, came with the intention of robbery, but actually nothing was robbed. That no property was missing from her house. Uh, so, so we started looking, the team led by PI Vasco initially did a commendable job under the supervision of SP South and uh, that they looked at every possible angle of this crime. We, we look in the background of the background of the uh, you know disease that what could be the motive of the murder. Generally murder have some motive. So we found that she is an elderly lady, she is she is without any children, the property in which the house in which she was living belonged to her. And there was no enmity in the family. So, you know, this angle was ruled out. But at the same time, there was no angle of robbery also. So it was very perplexing. So still we started looking uh, for around, you know, CCTV footages and the witness statements. Since the, the incident occurred during the day, so fortunately there were some witnesses who could see what was the movement around the house. Not They could not witness the murder, but they could see what was the movement around the house. And we also found out and there was CCTV located not ex exactly at the place of the offence, but around that. So based on the you know the statement of the people who were living around the deceased house and the CCTV footage, we could identify that there, there are two suspicious individuals which are roaming at that time, and which look like that they do not belong to Goa. It was very clear, so our doubt went to them. But still, if you even if you have CCTV footage, you don't know who that person is. This, Sometimes we think that we have CCTV, so we will be able to crack the case, but still it is difficult. So after that, we, we had to know that who these persons are. For that, we did a very thorough investigation, again, of CCTV footage around the, you know, all the routes that are leading outside uh, of that lane. And, uh, you know, uh, all the witnesses who could have seen them. There was a bar near the place of fence where these two guys had sat. And we got to know that these, these two guys had sat there for good one and a half, two hours and this they drank a lot of alcohol and then probably after that they committed this murder. You know, this was the version of the beer bar owner that was uh, that, that had opened uh, near the place of offense. So based on all these things uh, uh, and so their location was in this uh, area. So based on our technical capabilities we could identify a few numbers. Uh, based on our technical capabilities we could identify a few suspicious individuals that might be roaming this uh, location around that time. So we you know, verified each and every everybody and we could uh, locate these two individuals with the same identity in Andhra Pradesh. So, so the first team that went uh, to the Andhra Pradesh was a crime branch. Uh, P.I. Lakshi Amok had went. But uh, in first attempt, uh, we could not find these people. But still, we kept looking. You know, you can see that uh, how much time has elapsed in this case? 25 days. 
26 days we have been searching for these people and finally yesterday in the second attempt our team was able to uh, identify, locate one of the individuals who is probably the main accused. So Lakshi Amutkar team, Lakshi is not here with us, Lakshi Amutkar along with the along with his staff uh, did a commendable job. Mr. You know, Police Constable Naveen Paldeyankar, Police Constable Samiullah Matandar, Mr. Prakash Utkuri, Homeguard Nitam Khot. These people were there on the, in Andhra Pradesh and they caught him from Anayam district. Uh, so, and, uh, and the next day, today only, uh, the Vasco team had also went for search for new uh, second accused and the Vasco team had, uh, you know, they found a success and they also caught the second accused. Second accused name is uh, uh, Ravindra, son of Gorilla Srinivetu, age 25 years. He is also resident of 25, Kunnu uh, district. So the, you know, connection between both them, both the accused is that they are cousins, they are friends. And this Ravindra is involved in illegal illegal liquor smuggling in Raichur, Raichur and Hampi parts of Karnataka. And these two, and also this uh, Vijay, the prime accused probably, he is the, uh, he's, he's, uh, he goes with him in this business and he is also daily casual with So these two people had come to Goa for leisure trip and they, these two people uh, came to Goa 19th, 19th of April and they yeah, 19th, 9th, 20th April morning, 4, 4 a.m. they came here and uh, yeah, Vasco railway station they came and we they consumed liquor, they slept around that, uh, you know, uh, slept around the temple, Sai Baba Tego temple railway station ke pass. So next next morning on 21st of April, now, now we come at the motive of the crime. So these two people got fresh and went to Khariwada beach during afternoon while returning from Khariwada. We noticed one lady standing outside her house. Vijay and Ravindra then sat next to the said lady house and observed her movement. And then they noticed that she was residing alone in her house. At this time they had consumed alcohol next to the house, next to the house that the bar that I was referring to. And after finishing our drink, they entered the house of the said lady with the intentions to commit robbery. But the lady suddenly approached uh, approached them and during the, the, there was a little scuffle and lady shouted and, and they, they were planning to tie her up and rob her jewelry also and then the rest of the household items. But the lady uh, lady shouted and in the in a fit of the moment because they these two got afraid, they you know suffocated her throat and also uh, slated also both the both the things happened. So that's how she died and then they ran away from that place. Not ran away, they actually walked very casually. They were not actually running away as far as CCTV is concerned. Efforts done by crime branch and by our local Vasco police, we have been continuously monitoring them. One attempt of mm -hmm. ours uh, immediately through the crime branch was foiled, I would say. Somehow they came to know or not came to know. Looking at the police, they made their escape in Tamil Nadu. Okay, so we lied little low, we, then they went completely underground, then uh, surveillance was mounted technically and every 24 hours we were on the system no, locating them and yes, we were successful in locating them, tracing them. The moment we could get their traces, uh, our teams were dispatched from crime branch and from because there were two accused, so definitely it's a joint venture and whenever such offences take place, Crime branch along with local police take, uh, takes the position also because uh, the state of Goa, Goa police is committed to the uh, justice. Any citizens yeah. were living alone? She was, message, living, she was living alone. Any message from the police side for senior citizens? Yes, uh, we have, uh, we already have at our register 116 uh, people who are living alone like this and uh, our bit staff have been occasionally, frequently visiting them. In case they have any issues, they can call up 100 number and always tell about. They should keep in touch with their family members also in case of any need. Uh, but by and large, I would say like not to keep the doors open uh, as, well, uh, as 
far as possible when they are alone in the house and definitely as we have seen in this case the door was not closed the door was open this lady was alone and uh, as per the passer by and one who came uh, we had come to know that these people were uh, were in front of her house for a long time watching her so in case they find such type of suspicious people or anybody find such type of suspicious people loitering around without any cause without any uh, reference so definitely they need to be informing the police about it just dial 100 number the within 5 7 minutes our uh, pcr vehicles will come and will take the position madam uh, one last question is that uh, you said that the motive was uh, robbery but if you go on this side none of the gold was uh, stolen yes. secondly you said they were startled but they casually walked out of the house you think there could be more to this yes see our as accused have been just snapped as we said just in the afternoon we have seven days police custody remand our interrogations are on the second accused is has started from andhra pradesh uh, maybe by 3 o'clock 3 am 4 am they will reach we will obtain a remand for the him also and interrogation will take place we are investigating from all sides to know the motive but presently prima facie the motive what has been established is of the robbery so the they wanted to tie this lady as per their uh, disclosure and to take away the gold but the lady shouted and that was when we had also gone and seen the lady was in the front room of the house not at the back so these people they wanted to go inside and tie so that you know outside nobody no shout could be heard but they were intercepted at the front only and then this lady shouted so with that split they have this thing and maybe definitely when the blood was started oozing out they start they even use the cloth to see that the blood is uh, uh, control. controlled but they couldn't control the blood couldn't because it was a slit on the neck and definitely there was a profuse bleeding and so definitely at that particular point of time they must have really got uh, horrified horrified and back. and definitely as we have seen these uh, cctv footage one of the accused we could see both of them they have come from the side that is they have gone back side of the house and then they have come out on the road so they have not come from the front also so under these circumstances it appears that it is the 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 motive is of robbery so it is a robbery gone wrong which ended up yes 